Each generation has its share of great fighters, but every once in a while, the two best fighters of an era compete around the same weight class, inspiring endless debate centered around a simple question. What if? What if? Ladies and gentlemen, Province, Philippines. Manny! Still same old Floyd. Still like, go just. Time is important here. The 1970s had its Battle of the Titans when Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier first met as undefeated heavyweight champions in their fight of the century. Then in the 80s, the flashy Sugar Ray Leonard returned from retirement to outpoint Marvin Hagler in one of the most hotly debated decisions in boxing history. And Hagler's banging through the body, Tim. And now in 2015, Two fighters who define the last decade of boxing will collide when Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao meet on May 2nd at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. And here we are now. It was five years in the making, and with just days remaining before fight night, the anticipation is palpable. Pacquiao and Mayweather won their first world titles within months of each other in 1998. The Filipino underdog Pacquiao overcame the tropical outdoor heat of Thailand to knock out Cha Chai Sasakul to win the WBC flyweight title. Months earlier, the American Olympic standout Mayweather outclassed Gennaro Hernandez under the bright lights of Las Vegas to win a championship at 130 pounds. Hernandez Floyd comes back with a one, two, three, four, five, six, six punch combination. Only the most imaginative of boxing observers could have imagined these two coming together, at least until Mayweather's brief retirement in 2007. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now Mayweather near the edge of the... While Mayweather was pursuing oh, ventures outside the ring, Floyd faced the red light with a Spice Girl Mel B. Pacquiao was ascending the scales, collecting belts at 135, 140, and 147 pounds. When Mayweather returned to the ring in 2009, the question was raised. Was he still the best fighter in the world? world? Oh, right hand. That was a big shot from Mayweather. Immediately, the drum began to beat for a meeting between the two. They were polar opposites, linked only by their greatness in the ring. La lava na po sa mundo, dala ang pangalan mo. Pacquiao, a crowd-pleasing slugger who wears his heart on his sleeve, he carries the image of national hero in his native Philippines and assumes the role of the good guy. The cerebral calculating Mayweather, who has defined independence and legal issues often find himself at odds with fans and society. A natural antagonist creating a perfect storm for a rival rival rival. For more insight into the fight, Rappler speaks with former Ring Magazine correspondent Mike Coppinger and Manila-based boxing commentator Michael Chosa. And you know the thing where he was waving his money with the, mil the military guys and just this braggadocious mindset. Just the way he acts, it's, total, it's in total contrast to Pacquiao, who acts as a humble guy on the outside and a, someone who's very charitable and fights for his country. Skill-wise, I think Mayweather has it though. Uh, he is very athletic, he's a natural. When they say natural, I, I don't think you even have to teach him. But when he started off very young, uh, nine years old, in the gym and all that, no? and we know uh, that a lot of people have said, if you want to learn boxing, you watch uh, Floyd, right? Manny has learned it himself. I think all the things that he's been doing is like, uh, as we call it, the piano widow. The fight was slow to be made, and disagreements over prize money, drug testing, coupled with promotional rivalries, convinced many that the fight would never get made. Year after year, the fight was teased, only to see both fighters face other opponents acrimony built, and fans grew restless. The crowd is heavily favoring Manny Pacquiao. The chant you hear is Manny, Manny, Manny. They moved on. Pacquiao lost a controversial decision to Timothy Bradley, who was knocked out by Juan Manuel Marquez in 2012. And that's another knockdown. And will he get up? He's not getting up, Jim. He's not getting up, Jim. No, he's been knocked out. 
Mayweather left HBO to join rival network Showtime, setting pay-per-view records with his 2013 fight against Canelo Alvarez. Many thought Pacquiao was a spent force after a six-round knockout loss, but he returns with three straight victories, reigniting talks of a super fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. After Pacquiao dominated Chris Algieri this past November in Macau and called out his rival by name, the prospect of the fight happening became real again. You know, I'm looking forward to like a really good fight, probably a better fight than it would have been five years ago when they were at their peak, you know, their peaks and height of their powers. Simply because Mayweather's, you know, his legs aren't what they used to be and I think it could be actually be Pacquiao's favor now. I had a feeling that it was going to happen because it was the first time that Manny actually said it himself. He kept on deferring that to, to Bob uh, over the past five years. I mean, that way Manny handled it. But it was the first time he actually came out and called Floyd by name. Talks, as they had been in the past, were complicated. It required the involvement of the highest authorities at HBO and Showtime's parent company, CBS, to close the deal. Five years of disappointment ended with one post from Mayweather on the Shots app, beginning a second countdown, one with a quantifiable end date. Debate persists about who benefited more from the fight's delay. Does it help the man who was knocked cold by Marquez four fights ago? Or the man who turned 38 years old earlier this year? There's always that question in his mind, I think. Even, even fighting fight fans, can anyone beat Mayweather? And I think an undefeated fighter will always have that. Can anyone beat me? So I think he's coming to that ring with that disadvantage. From day one, I was always taught to be a winner. The one fight which some feel Mayweather deserved to be on the losing end of was his first fight with Jose Luis Castillo in 2002. They're back in the center of the ring momentarily, and now Castillo pounds Mayweather back into the corner. With a... HBO's unofficial judge scored at 115-111 for Castillo, and punch stats favored Castillo's superior work rate. But the three judges saw it in favor of Mayweather. Now we have a hold on. A rematch later that year vindicated Mayweather as he won a clear verdict. The two shared the ring with 20 world champions each, with five of them facing both Pacquiao and Mayweather. Both Mayweather and Pacquiao knocked out Ricky Hatton. They both hold clear victories over Miguel Cotto, Oscar De La Hoya, and Shane Mosley. The only difference? Pacquiao stopped Cotto and De La Hoya. The De La Hoya fight was telling for Pacquiao. It showed him to be a dominant fighter who could shine when the lights were brightest. That might be the biggest disparity in common opponents other than, you know, Mayweather Marquez and Pacquiao Marquez. Because Pacquiao, you know, won every second of every round and really did a demolition job on, uh, on De La Hoya, and that was a star-making performance. And Mayweather just eked out a, a win. Against Marquez, their fortunes were different. Pacquiao went through the ringer in four meetings with the Mexican legend. Mayweather's speed and agility were too much for Marquez, resulting in a one-sided victory for Mayweather. I don't think Marquez even won a round. I think only one judge gave him one round. But all the others, like, was like, shut out. Uh, 120 something or something like that, right? But uh, he fought intelligently. Uh, the counter puncher against the best counter puncher. All he did was really counter punch against Marquez and did not allow the Marquez that we know, who, who you know, who relentlessly would punch against Pacquiao, to even punch one, one to combination. But boxing matches aren't won by comparing the past. They're won by skill, strategy, and above all else, will. On May 2nd, the two most celebrated fighters of this generation will finally meet. The fight will hopefully settle a score that divided fan opinions from the Philippines to the United States and everywhere else there were boxing fans. In just a matter of days, the talk is over. The fans will get what they've been asking for all along. This is Ryan Sangalia. See you on Fight Night.